Hey guys, this is Mark again. In this video, I will show you how to start up your video uh, Visi Dial, um, so you can log in. The very first thing you need to do is start up Zoipers. So open Zoiper on your desktop. Mine might be already open. It's open. Verify that it is registered. Okay. Um, your account manager. Okay, your manager will show you how to do this. So if you haven't gotten this far with Zoiper where it's registered and all set up, get with your manager. Okay, once it's open, we're going to go ahead and open Visidal. Let me get zoomed with any of these screens. All right, you will have a link, okay, a bookmark. Um, and again, your manager will set this up for you. When you click it, everything should be pre-populated. This is another thing a manager will set up for you. Okay, your agent number, your user login, your phone login. Okay, you're going to go submit. Your phone will ring. Okay, right down here you saw it blinking. Accept. You are currently the only person in this conference. Now it's going to say you are only the o you are currently the only person in this conference. That means you're in a live conference call. What that means is okay, basically this uh dialer system has made a connection to the phone on your desktop. Okay? Um, now you are the only person in a conference that has been established between you and Visidal. Every time Visidal connects to another person, okay, on your behalf, meaning if they call somebody um, or an incoming call comes in, they will just transfer it into your conference and you can talk to them from that point on. Okay, the whole time you're working, you are never going to log off of uh, Zoiper. You're never gonna end the call. You're never gonna go here play with these buttons, okay? You don't want to have multiple um, lines open, okay? You want to see a screen like this. When it comes up here, just click off of it anywhere on the screen, okay? Anywhere you want. And you're gonna be in the Visi Dial screen. Now, guys, it is important when you're in Visidial, never use the back button, never refresh your screen. Don't do these don't even exist, okay? If you're in an active call, you hit the back button, you refresh your screen, or let's say you go and uh here I'll show you guys a demonstration. So let's say I go ahead and um I click on Chef Planning, okay? So I just exit out of that. I still have a live connection, but I can't really get back into my agent screen um, and not expect everything to not be messed up. You see how this call got ended? I got kicked out of the conference because I um, clicked on a different screen and opened it up in the, in the same tab. So at that point, I have to go ahead and call log out. Click here to log in again, submit, wait for Zoiper to ring. And again, when it rings, you're going to see it, um, you're going to see it blink orange on the bottom. Now, sometimes it takes a minute, so be patient. Don't start clicking around on the screen. Don't hit submit a bunch of times. Okay, you can see how it's blinking right now. Just go ahead and click here once. Click accept. You are once. currently the only person in this conference. It plays the message that you're the only one in the conference. You're done. Click off of Zoiper anywhere on the screen. Okay. Um, if you really want, just double click it here. Okay. Um, that will minimize it to your system tray. Okay. So if you ever can't find Zoiper, it's right here. It's in your system tray. It's still there and the connection is live. 
if ever you're on a call and you're having trouble hearing people, okay, or you can't hear them and, and something weird's going on, first thing you need to do, open up Zoiper and check to see if you're still on an established call. If you're, if nothing is weird, nothing weird is going on. If you see that you're like on an established call, but there's a yellow box highlighted here, that means you got a second line going somewhere, and you you did something that you just need to click between the two lines and see which one the call is on. And as soon as you're done with that call, um, just exit out of the Zoiper, exit out of uh, Visidal, and log back in from the beginning, and just have it be from the very uh, very fresh start where you have one line and one Zoiper open okay get into the habit if you're gonna open up new tabs open up new tabs or if you want you're gonna be going to different windows okay you're gonna be going to jobs with hope forward slash scripts this should constantly be on your screen um, this is our script site from here you'll be able to see exactly how to handle every single call you possibly can take um, it'll show you walkthrough guides, it'll show you how to have them fill out W9 um, everything you ever need will be here alright now you should have again multiple tabs open Close tabs, and then we're going to have probably we'll have your cloud based campaigns open. You might have your Gmail open, you know. Um, but always open new tabs and make sure agent screen, agent web client right here is always your first tab so you can always navigate back to it. Alright guys, this is the video that explains how to start up Visidel. Tune into the next video. I'm going to go over um, how the pause screen works. I'm going to go over how the incoming calls uh, Visidel screen works. And I'm going to go over the CRM system. Alright, see you next video.